Hi, welcome all. This is Anima, Gate of Memories. I am Blues, and I am going to showcase this game for you. Now, Anima Gate of Memories is a little mix of a action RPG and a hack and slash game. The game is developed by Anima Project Studio. And Anima Project Studio basically is a Spanish studio that has created a product line in which the main product is Anima Beyond Fantasy which is a pen and paper RPG. They also have a miniature skirmish game called Anima Tactics, which maybe you should check out because the miniatures are gorgeous, to be honest. They also have two non-collectible card games, one of them with three expansions. Yeah, I believe there's three of them. There are three, no, two expansions. And then they also have a Wii Store game. Now, what we have here is the latest one. They've taken three years to, to do this. The project got a huge support from Kickstarter. And, well, to be honest, I am a real fan of the anime line. I've been playing Anima Beyond Fantasy since 8 years ago. But when this was announced, when they announced that they were doing this 3 years, well a little more than 3 years ago, I was really skeptical. Because the Wii, the Wii game, it wasn't exactly good, it showed a lot mistakes in game design. I backed this project on Kickstarter, but I only did so because some of the rewards were really sweet for fans of the RPG game. However, when this was released uh, and I bought it, I got a very pleasant surprise. The game is very good. It is a very good game, especially considering it is an indie game. It's very dynamic, it feels really great when you play, there's some minor details that need some polishing, but I believe that the game itself is very good, it is very enjoyable. I've played it for something like 30 hours, and I really like it, the game has a lot of content, it has 5 different endings, it has a real challenge in the form of its bosses. All of which have very different mechanics, which is something I really like, because that's not something you usually see in some games nowadays. So yeah, I really like this game, that is why I am doing this video, I am not a professional reporter. You are probably noticing that in the quality of the video. In fact, my computer isn't ready to record and play the game at maximum settings, so I'm having to play the minimum settings before I record. But then again, I also think that it helps showcase better how some people who have not so good, compu not so good computers will end up playing. The game is available for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. You can find it on Steam for 20 euros, which I believe is a really fair price. Now, I really think that if you like this video, if you like the game, then maybe you should buy the game. I am sure you will have lots of fun with it. Now what I will be doing in this video is I will play through the introduction and I will be talking about the game mechanics. Now if you like the video, if you like the game and you want, I can make a let's play of one of the endings of the game. And during that let's play and also during this video I'll be talking both about the game, or what I like, what I don't like, and about the world of anime. Now this video is made almost specifically for the community of 9th age. But 
if you have found this video and you're not from the Arctic, maybe you'll like it too. So I'll be talking about the universe, I'll be talking about the game, also please forgive my English, I'm not a native English speaker, if you haven't noticed. Now, let's go. The game has two difficulty settings for a new game, but I've noticed that when you play a new game class, because the game has that option, the difficulty level increases, and I believe it's because it's the new game plus the falls to a difficult level of difficulty. So we're going to play on normal for now. The game still offers quite a challenge, but it's not an artificial it's not an artificial challenge. I I'll, I'll explain what I mean with that during this video. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I have to say that this video will probably be a lot longer than any of the other videos that I would make if I do the let's play this video will probably be like 40 minutes 45 minutes long if I do a let's play it will probably be like 30 minutes long videos so let's go we are gonna use a slot 3 which as you see is a new game that I did to see that everything was that everything was okay with the game because uh, there have been some minor bugs that I was seeing just if they were fixed because some of them were a little annoying. And yeah, they were fixed. They were fixed. And let's go for it. Some say that the world is coming to an end. Maybe they're right. For more than a year. Everything has been here. You're chaos. probably being able to see the sacred the, holy the empire of label as a symbol of power because and sacred holy empire of label it should be on broken the and fragmented. In fact, the I believe in the English it, translation of books, the it's throne, just holy empire of label. The shadow it's just that the Spanish is to sacrosanct every village. Oblivious to the conflict, the order of Nathaniel, founded centuries ago to keep humanity safe. From what lurks in the night, continued its restless fight. Yes, yeah, in the, the world of anima, over the ages, the supernatural the waged countless is considered wars, a fairy tale, always hiding from mankind, and also is considered to be evil by the whole by us, the main darkest fairy world, tale, which is like a pseudo Christianity. And then, two days ago, something unexpected happened. While the order was negotiating a way to stop the upcoming conflict with the warring states. The Red Lady, a high-ranking member of Nathaniel, stole one of the artifacts that the organization also, had sealed in the Also, please tell me if my voice or the audio the Bible, is too low. A book written with the blood of the founder. I'll the also try to not Nobody spoil anything that I'm not playing. So that's the artifact, because but there is a lot of can be and I wouldn't want to spoil it. And I wouldn't want to spoil it, to be honest. Understanding what was at stake. I was forced to send the best agents of the organization to recover it at any cost. As fate would have it, amongst all of those agents, it would be the girl with no name, a cursed child bringing calamity with her, who would find it. Yeah, the two main protagonists are Erga Mundus and Lyra Felicans. You're gonna meet them right now. This place is devastated. I didn't think that the war had already come this far. Ignore that nonsense, baby. What mankind does, doesn't concern us. Our prey is near, I can tell. At last we will have some fun. What is it, uneasy? That's not like you. You have nothing to fear. You are the bearer of calamity. You have at your disposal the most powerful weapon in the whole of creation sealed in a damned book. You've got me. Shut up. Yeah. Erica Mundus is 
a very powerful supernatural entity that's lived in that book. So, as you can see, uh, there are three bars on the head-up display on the top of the card. The uppermost bar is my life points. The one just below it is my magic points. It gets used when I do magic attacks and then recharge with time. Then the one just below it, the lowest one, is my key, which gets used when I do physical attacks, when I dodge, when I run, and when I do a special physical attacks. And on the bottom right, you can see the name. So yeah, pretty easy. Uh, the black orbs are pieces of existence, that's the money you use in the shop later. And the yellow orbs are life points. If you don't have the health bar fully charged, uh, that charges. So yeah, you can jump and you can double jump. Now, one of the things that I don't like about the game, I'm already used to it, but it's a little more difficult than it seems, is that the falling feels really heavy. So platforming is something stupid. Now, a light fragment. Those purple souls are items. In game, it is justified as Ergo using his powers to absorb the items, the essence of those items, and then you can use them. So you go to the main menu and consumables you can equip them on different buttons of the directional path and basically if you keep that button pressed that bar fills and I used it because I'm an idiot but yeah uh, and then you use it and you can see that there's a potion icon has disappeared now and that means that I get life regeneration that's how life potions life practice work there are for there are different types of consumables, some increase some of your stats, some increase your mana regeneration, some increase your key regeneration, and then there is the life regeneration ones. And there are three types. There are fragments, of which you can have nine per type of fragment. There are souls, of which you can have three, and there are animals, of which you can have one. Uh, sorry, I'm hitting me first. I've got a bit of bad cough. Welcome, Bear of Calamity. I knew they would send you. Unfortunately, you come too soon. I have not finished yet. Lady, in recognition of your years of work for the Order, I will give you a chance to surrender and return the Biblos. Biblos, but yeah. <laughs> as pragmatic as ever. I didn't expect a greeting from you. What have you done with this place? Make no mistake, Bear of Calamities. I had nothing yeah, to do with the Yeah, as we have seen in the city. introduction. Its inhabitants there is the, armies of the, Empire the Holy Empire of Adel to prevent them from that it, the is set it on fire. Instead of basically the ruling dynasty which had been the ruling dynasty since the foundation of the Empire it's human nature. no longer War, rules the Empire because murder, of several shenanigans that have no importance in this game but should already be that has to. caused the Empire to fracture come here to listen to and that is Give causing a war right now. I will not ask again. Unfortunately, I'm not finished with it yet. But don't worry. I've prepared something to entertain you and your creature. Goodbye forever, bearer of calamities. Wait. <sighs> Damn it. Also, as I told you, the supernatural you can see that this is like a tutorial fight. Uh, you can also combo your special and normal attack. I'm gonna try to show you. Well. Yeah, like that. My beam. Yeah. 
this is the assault boost. These are not predetermined abilities. The thing is, at the start of the game you have only a few abilities and then you can switch them and map them to different buttons of the controller or of the keyboard if you're using that. I'm more... I recommend to play with it, to be honest. These kind of games, they feel better. There's a purple something. Also, uh, yellow numbers are physical damage. That you didn't counsel me, Jenny. Blue dam uh, blue Jenny numbers knows. are magical damage. If it's she damage inflicted to me, the then red is physical, purple After is magical. Now, this, you. I believe, is an equipable <laughs> feat. Yeah, like a weapon. Each, I'm sorry, each character can have up to two weapons equipped and up to two artifacts. Artifacts give defensive stats, weapons give physical stats. Now one thing that I like is that the memories basically give you information about the world. The reports, tutorials, and messengers are the bosses of the game. Yeah, as you can see, the graphics are not the best, but they do their job. I can go through here and do this. I'm getting hit a lot, but that's because uh, I'm used to my save file where I have these abilities to make dodgy I spend less energy so it's you can always dodge or right now dodging spends a lot of heat I cannot always dodge especially if I do physical combo but yeah the other thing is the supernatural is is hunted. Supernatural beings are hunted. Okay, if you hit this, you're alive. That feels like two centers of your of your health bar, if I recall. Is the supernatural is hunted, but uh, supernatural beings you shouldn't see them. Something there are various like this, and you have to the fight. Very hacked slash. Supernatural is handed, but if you're used to the charge or the empire, or you know, if you want to be mage, now that the empire is back, you can usually not have many problems as long as you don't use your powers at all. Because for as much as the population at large is concerned, the supernatural doesn't exist, it's only fairy tales. That's what the world thinks, and that's how the charge and all this organization and all this organization. I don't know. Oh my god, my English! And all of these organizations want to keep it that way. It benefits them, and it also the creed of this pseudo Christianity. It's, it's just called Christianity even in the world. There's a reason for it, I'm not going to spoil it, but there's a reason for it. And the thing is, in this religion, the supernatural is always evil, so even if in truth it isn't, uh, the powers that be, the powers that be, are really interested in keeping it this way. Now, platforming in the game is not the best, I'm already used to it, but really, it's one of the details that recharges me. It's one of the details that they should have polished a little bit more. Maybe they didn't have time. But yeah, it's one of the worst parts. And at first, when I started playing this game, it was something that really drew me mad. Did you know I, I don't like it. water that much? Maybe being sealed in a book for so long has affected me after all. 
uh, you better get used to this kind of stuff. You can block an enemy. Very useful mechanic. You can see that attacks stop on attacks, and that is something really useful because you n can't always dodge. There was a book on day one that was really annoying because there was a book that made some attacks and dodgeable. But they sold it right now. Oh, okay. At uh, the attack, this woman does a run, so... Has anyone ever told you you're too pussy, my dear? Wow, an existential barrier. And one of substantial power, if I may say. Suggestions? I sense two... No, three seals that support the barrier nearby. We must go back and find them if we want to move on. Don't worry. I'll make them visible for you, baby. Yeah, Erica always calls the Bureau of Fate. Mostly to tease her, to be honest. Mm, light drop on the FPS. Uh, uh, you'll have to excuse that, because it's hot in here. Okay, what, what the hell? What the hell is happening? Okay, now, I'm sorry, it's hot in here. Maybe you're not noticing this, but it's happening a bit, and I believe it's because it's really hot in here, and my One down, computer two to go. is having some trouble with the heat, because it's like 40 degrees Celsius. Also, the, the program I'm using to record, it's not the best, to be honest. It's not the Just most... One more. Well, it's simply not the best. It's, I'm using Fraps. Fraps actually uses a lot of the barrier oh, has does. fallen, baby. So yeah, if at some point you notice like a drop in the FPS, that's because I'm recording. That's not because of the game. The game is actually very well optimized, uh, optimized and serious. It's not like it really asks a lot. Uh, as you may have noticed, she attacks with the book because all the virus power comes from Ergon, comes from a pact she did with Ergon. This one seems more fun than the others. Come on, let me out. Shut up. Basically, party pooper. Ergo ate her name as a stupid as that itself. This is just a mini boss. Actually, at some stages of the game, this is one later in the game, I would say. At some stages in the game, later in the game, this is merely a normal enemy. Well, not a normal enemy, but one you encounter at some chunks, like in a group of three of them. Oh yeah. Uh, it's 
it's actually difficult to get this back to not being able to dodge all the time, but that's one of the first, like, yeah, like one of the first things you can get, so. Oh, rings, rings. Oh, I have the real one. So yeah, as I said, this are So yeah, as I was saying, I'm sorry, I got a little interruption, but uh, nothing that I thought I should cut the video for, but it was just right. It was an amazing. Uh, yeah, recording is not doing good for my computer. I'll now that I'm thinking of this, I'm probably. I have probably not adjusted the settings for Ultimize Report. And that probably was making me feel like this actually so I still have to do it. Now yeah, as you can see. Ah Hello. So yeah, the viewer made a pact with Ergo, Ergo ate her name, which basically means he ate her identity. No one remembers her name or her past except for Ergo. And in return, he gave the viewer a fraction of his powers. What is this place? This is because Ergo's most of Ergo's here. power is sealed with I don't know, but whatever it is, I feel something ancient. That's a different type of enemy, basically it's a ranged enemy. And it's there for in that I maybe should have shown you and it's to show a little game mechanic. And it's that that guy takes this two hits from my magic beam. Okay? But uh, in a second you'll see some of those guys. Also yeah, after each combat the game the the time sl time slows. But yeah, you'll see that yeah, if you fall you only lose a fraction of your life. You'll see that these guys are only taking one hit. This is a very cool mechanic. And it's because the game designers acknowledge that yeah this the difficulty of this area is not beating the enemies is not getting hit. So increasing the Live points. Also, yeah, the hit bosses are sometimes elusive. Increasing the life points of the enemies wouldn't. Yeah, it would have increased the difficulty, but it would have increased it in a very artificial way. Like, the difficulty would be that you would have to spend more time. It wouldn't take more skill, it would only take more time. So, yeah. The difficulty there is that. The thing there is that, so instead of artificially increasing the difficulty and the, re and the duration of the game, or more the duration of the game, because the difficulty is really important, it's, it's stupidly simple, but because I am talking, I am doing this wrong, and so it happens to me a lot. I have difficulty doing two things at the same time. You may not believe this, but I've beaten the game like five times. Although you may not believe me now that I'm saying so much. Also, 
Also, one thing is that sometimes the locked cam doesn't give you like a good camera angle. Like I prefer this camera angle because I may not see the enemies, but I can more properly see how. I can more probably see how the projectiles are coming. Lady, I'll admit I expected to have a little more time, bearer of calamity. So what? Yeah, like I was saying, Ergo is still within the boat. What do you want? And he only has like a fraction of power Fine. he once had, but he lends it dear. to the bearer. That's why the bearer has magical powers. I don't expect someone like you to understand that. But you, my dear, were a fool for coming here. This whole place was built for only one purpose. To steal the very core of your power. You look frightened, dear. Are you afraid of monsters again? Monsters? Those are no monsters. Let me show you what a real monster is. Ergo. <laughs> and that is Ergomundus. Now the thing about the game is you actually control both Ergomundus and the viewer. And you can switch between them. As you can see. And whenever you switch, they if you were performing an attack, they do a combo. See? They automatically do it. I'm only using the change key right now. And they have very different style of play, all of them. So like Ergo is a more offensive character. Also more focused on Physical melee, uh, physical melee attacks, while the bearer is a more defensive character, more focused on magical ranking. So yeah, you can mix between the two. And the thing is that actually changing right, not right now because right now I haven't unlocked any attacks. It's the beginning of the game, so you only have a very specific set of attacks. Game. But once you start on loving tags, especially special tags, impressive. And to think the combinations are incredible and your true power. they increase your combo time. So the no most effective way to is to change between the Vera and Ergo. So yeah, sometimes in some fights you've got this camera. Angle. Uh which I really it's a camera angle that I'm really thankful for because really uh it helps you see where attacks are coming. And man, that really yeah. Because I didn't have the key there to dodge. But if you get hit, you can. If you have the key, for it, you can automatically dodge to avoid the net. You need the key for it. So. One of the most useful and of the first abilities I usually unlock is one that reduces the amount of key needed to dodge 
and that increases your key regeneration and that makes so it so that you can always dodge even if you don't have any the power of the calamity but it matters not the ritual is complete what is this all about lady i don't understand you oh but you will my dear everything is about to begin That I don't really understand how he did it, but yeah. That's literally the name, that's how the guy is called. His power is too much for you. I know. Remember when I told you about messengers, those are the boats. Well, the full name they were given is Messengers of the End. Basically, they say that they will bring the apocalypse, they were really just various very powerful supernatural messengers. In fact, Ergo is a messenger. There are 22 of them, but not all are shown in this game. Not all are important to the plot. And that is something that it's very easy to see. The thing is, the Nameless is one of the Powerful guys, not one of the most powerful, but one of the powerful guys. And Ergo in his current state is just not up to the task. Too late. What? Look out! Once more, the same dream, always the same, the little girl runs. She runs to escape the horror that haunts her. But what she sees at the end of the darkness, it's just an even greater nightmare. Wake up, little reader. It's time to get out of bed. Ergo? What happened? Where are we? Not a clue. After that life, everything became chaotic. I only know that when I regained consciousness, I was in this place. I've never seen anything like it. How long have I been asleep? A few hours. Before you open your big mouth to complain, I tried to wake you up early. But stay calm. I assure you, nothing has come close or done anything to you while you slept. Thanks. Well, except me. <laughs> uh. So, what's the plan? Are we still looking for your artifact? Or shall we try to find a way out of here? First of all, I think that the most important thing would be to find out where we are and how we got here. Let's collect all the information we can, and later we'll have time to make an appropriate decision. Listen to me then. There's another thing that I need you to know. This place is oppressing me, as if it's trying to choke my very essence. My powers, and therefore yours, are greatly limited. And that means? That you're screwed. You'd better be careful. Yeah, basically, you've lost you, some of the abilities you're worried about me. that you have at the beginning of the game, and you can't regain them, and you actually didn't need a lot to regain them. At the time, I didn't yeah. want to admit it, but I was calm just because he was there with me. It's like, at the start of the game, you are like, if you were level... level... Four or five, and you start the game at level three, if I remember correctly. We'll see in a minute. So yeah, skill points. Well, but the skill points. Yeah, as you can see, there are two types of abilities: passive skills and active skills. 
Some schools have other rights over the environment. Uh, I think the image is being, you can see that on the right. And by unlocking two skills, you get a bonus to a start, to a different start determined by the symbol between those. So yeah, and you can assign different skills. So yeah, that's that's the thing. But we'll do that. Wait a second. I I am sorry. I am sorry. Uh, something has happened to my controller, which which I will solve right now. I believe it's because I'm using a PS4 controller, and using those with your computer. You have to use an emulator to emulate the Xbox controller, but it's not a plug and play, uh, plug and play so I'm very sure that will work. I've accidentally unlocked it. So, we're gonna leave it here. I hope you liked it. And if you liked it, tell me in the comments. If you like the game, you can buy it. If you want me to do a couple more videos or to uh, do a run for one of the endings, let me know it. And I hope you like it. Hope I'll see you. Goodbye. And have a great time.